Uh, there's Fred Fred Burger, there's, uh, I think Roots still plays Falcon, yeah, but having said that, you know, there's, there's not quite that same level of top Falcon representation. Yeah, definitely not, at least here in SoCal. So people might be running a little bit unfamiliar territory with that, but hey, we're going in. Kyrie versus Jolado, Lucina versus Rosalina on Battlefield. Jolado who gets off the hot start, but Kyrie goes in with that falling up air, 23% off of it and continuing the juggle. Yeah, Jolado just can't get off the platform here, but now the situation is reversed actually. Oh, and reverses again. You can see that. That top platform always paying dividends on like what, how the situation can change immediately. Yeah, right off the bat, Toledo, you know, despite perhaps some of his struggles in neutral, doing a very good job of limiting the damage. Oh, it doesn't get the spike there, that might have killed. Oh, he's got reads the spot touch, gets him into the damage, and the Luma's gone already again, Luma just came back! Standing fair, gives Toledo time to land, up air nearly killing him. And one more, does get the trade. Well, that up air, he did back air instead, if he did up air, it might have killed. What nice weight on the air dodge. A lot of uh, Tyrant's doing such a good job of, of like seeing Delato's disadvantage and punishing it, re and reading it off. Yeah, up air has been so stale right now as Tyrant's is hurled off stage. All the slash gets up, or trying to get the ledge. And something Tyrant has been doing a lot is just controlling the space with the Cena hitboxes. For super strong hitboxes, super fast hitboxes too, and it controls a lot of space. Like he's been doing a really good job of that. They're actually going to use a combo escaper. No tech for Tyrant. Yeah, that's going to take the stock. Unfortunately for him, yeah. He, he, he could have had it, but unfortunately missed the tech. Again, I think something that Tyrant could do a really good job of is just getting rid of Luma. Luma has been a non-factor this game so far. Like, Luma's just not been on the screen. And if, if Luma's been on the screen, like, within the next like, five or so seconds, Luma's just gone. Yeah, other than that one free pass at a disadvantage, Tyrant's doing a really good job of mitigating that puppet character. Yeah, again, separating out Luma. And like probably one more hit from Lucina, and Luma's just gone. Oh, the Luma covering Rosalina's uh, comeback option there. Nice up smash. Jaleo still keeping it about even, but needs to find some landing option. Lucina, or not Lucina, rather. Rosalina, the floatiest character in the game. Oh, that nice combo, that was so good! I love that using the Luma setup on the stage to com uh, combine into the up air follow-up. Super nice to see. I love that Tomahawk grab too. That down air is going to two frame. Yeah, it went through and actually covered the ledge hitbox. So Lucino has to go snap to the ledge using that. Uh -oh. Two frame again! Oh, he hit nice weight. And oh! the tech on the down air saves his life. Both players waiting on the ledge here. What a fantastic reaction from Jaleto to keep the stock advantage, but Tyrant's going to get rid of it right after. Yeah, nice back there on the ledge to get the stop there. And it's been, again, that super nice space that I've been talking about, I mentioned earlier, once again came into play. Super, like, really knowing his ranges and when, what hitboxes are going to be coming out. Yeah, this is so back and forth. Jaleto, 72% in the lead right now, but things could all change, especially if he can't find his way up the ledge. And Tyrant's one of the best ledge trappers in all of SoCal. Oh no, Luma again. He fell, unfortunately. Yeah. Alright, covering the ledge once again. Gets a uh, gets the neutral get up, gets the dash attack off stage for Tyrant's now. Delayed on the ledge. Nice forward smash is gonna read the roll one more time in this situation. Oh! The is gonna spike! Oh my god, that was so good. And that was three times, I think, that we saw him cover the ledge down here. And it worked every, like so well every single time. Yeah, and after surviving a spike of his own in that second stock, doing so well to just turn the tide in that final stock, getting out to that 72% lead and playing very, very safe because Lucina with Rage is incredibly scary, but not just avoiding, you know, long combos. Tyrinx couldn't even get a combo starter. Yeah, definitely. And especially, like, I think what turned the tide around was, like, Toledo kind of improved how he was approaching the Vitro, right? He saw Luma actually being, you know, not killed in five seconds. <laughs> like, right. Luma was actually there, and we, just, we saw the difference right away. Having Luma there, like, just changes the whole dynamic of the neutral completely. Yeah, but that's not to say Jaleta was necessarily playing defensively, because he was playing very, very on the counter, waiting for Tyrants to commit a lot of time for that upper, and instead waiting for him to land, taking the stage instead, and then manifesting himself. All right, but here we go, game two on PS2. We already see Delano taking a lot of stage control with, with the Luma here. 
And I really like that spacing and putting that, like, that how much space was created between him and Tyrant, and then placing the Luma in between them. I really like that. Jaleda very aware of Tyrant's propensity to go for that falling up there, so very, very good job to shield grab. These, these guys are very, very aerial days. I know for sure Lucina wants to do it because that's where her best hitboxes are coming out from. But I'm surprised to see that Jaleda is actually taking the aerial fight with him, you know? Maybe, I think that maybe Rosalina should maybe throw on the ground a little bit and try and get control that way and not defend Lucina's hitboxes and uh -oh. wait for her. Good roll out to escape that down tilt, the down smash setup. Yeah, definitely rolled away. Nice, uh, nice read there. Out there isn't going to kill, just a, just a hair, 100% to kill. Oh, gets the Dolphin Slash the wrong way. If you got it right, the full upper again. Super nice. Yeah, very stale at this point, but just enough. Rosalina, not the heaviest character in the world. Nope. Definitely not, and that's going to take the stop here. Oh, he tries to get to the floor smash. He thought he was going to read the hair dodge, but didn't get it. And here we go, Luma again, off, off the stage, and this is 1v1. Out of range of fair, not going to get that up smash either, so Tyrant finds the grab, and all these, you know, these pummels, such a good job of unstaling up tilt and up air as well as getting rid of an additional thing. Oh, Tyrant just went all in right there. That whole sequence covering it was so nice. Using the F tilt for Luma, using the fair to get Luma off stage, and getting the percent to kill Luma. Super good there. Immediately killed it again. Out of the corner, and that trade is actually going to kill Tyrant. Yeah, the Luma came back just in time for the up smash to trade. And now it's gonna be it's gonna be a two uh two to stop here. But definitely Tyrant can uh, firm lead here with one the Luma one twenty two. Yeah, the stocks are even but the percent very much in Tyrant's favor. Dolphin Slash gets him off stage one more time. The Luma is dead. Oh the F tilt is not gonna kill! 160? I cannot believe it. Incredible, it's so hard to escape the corner without Luna as Rosalina, but Jolendo managed to do it and survive and catches him at the apex of the Dolphin's Slash. Yeah, he tried to go cover the roll option or the neutral get out of that, but only hit Luma. The Dolphin Slash comes out one more time. He's going to secure that stop. Just writing him with that grab. Catching him a little scared. So something I've been seeing Jolendo been doing on the ledge is that he's been kind of just been waiting for Tyrant. He hasn't been placed Luma on the ledge to try and like intercept it that much. He's been kind of holding Luma with him and using that option instead going for like a dare or as we saw from last game, actually a force match on the way. And go out once again from Jaleo. Neutral coming back up, a little bit of dash chance. Force match is going to whip and Tyrant is going to get the punish. From out the corner, that is going to cost him Luma, but has time with this ledge trap. Tries to go for the force match, try to do it. Okay, nice spot dodge. Luma comes back and now it's 3v1 again. And the up smash with the roll only gets Luma. They grab that spot. Yeah, very, very nice. Jaleto actually low profiling that Nair with up smash as Tyranx attempts a shield breaker. One more scare, one more time. Tries to kill Luma. Yeah, that's the whole time. He noticed that Jaleto was just staying on the ground and Luma wasn't moving. He's just like, all right, you want to stay down? All right, I'm just going to, you know, make Luma my punching bag. Yeah, I'm. I'll you want to lay there? I'll just take care of your friend. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I was like, you can, you can take a chill. I'll, I'll, I'll be over here doing my thing. Uh-oh, oh. fast ledge. That's going to be another down tilt. And there we see him almost get the timing. Yeah, unfortunately, the down smash, he just swung a little bit too early. But still on and on, he's going to cover the jump with the map. That is going to be game two to Tyrex. Game three, and this is exactly what we were talking about before. We wanted this game. Three. Yeah, very, very nice recovery from the SoCal PR hopeful. And as you mentioned, you know, there's there's a response you can, you know, say to game one. Oh my God, I just got called out the, at the ledge so many times. What am I going to do? But Tyrank switched up the game plan a little bit. Didn't stale that up air quite as much. Crucially got that just to kill on the first duck and then rode that momentum all the way. Yeah, definitely. He was, his conversions were super clean too. How he come out, like, especially during that second slot, I noticed that he had that whole sequence across the whole stage of PS2, right? He did, like, fair to running to running F tilt to fair again, and that just killed Luma immediately, and getting a little bit of extra damage on, on Rosalina. Tyranx and Jaleto knotted up at one game apiece. Oh, so we're going to final destination, fitting way, and this set, you know, game three, right? You gotta go, you gotta go to FD, perfect play. Indeed, our third different stage of the set.
Yeah, so this lack of platforms is definitely going to change the game for a lot more, right? For Jelena, this is going to allow him the horizontal space that Rosalina really excels at, especially with Luma on the table. L placing Luma there is just another hitbox that Tyrinx has to worry about. And again, right here, we can already see it. That horizontal horizontal approach is uh, just making Tyrinx have a lot of trouble with Jelena on the neutral. And another thing that might harm Tyrinx in this particular stage is the fact that there are these no uh, these this lack of platforms, rather means that he has to be a lot more careful with Dolphin Slash if he doesn't have the space to drift to the ledge. And yeah. Jaleto knows that. Oh yeah, definitely. He noticed Tyrants is going for a lot of Dolphin Slash. Like, all right, you, let's make it so if he Dolphin Slash and he misses, I get the punishment. Stuff like that. Jaleto on the ledge just waits. Very patient, but Tyrants still gets the follow-up with the grab here. in his advantage. Nice back and gets him on stage. And again, Luma keeps came back and she's gone. Yeah, it's been all Tyranks here. I believe he's just been untouched for the past 30 seconds or so. And the eye was so crucial to make sure he lived there. Nice grab on the neutral getup. Tries to go off stage, not enough. Love that back here. Just careens to the other side of the stage, but still living. Again, Jolie has been doing this a lot, actually, where he's just been waiting on the ledge. But Tyranks is scouting it out, waiting for him, being patient, waiting for the option, get the back and take the spot. Punish from the whip dash attack and Jaleto going into the fray here. Up is the jab off stage. Nice get up attack. He's just like, get off my corner. This is fun. Nice damage too. This is all extra credit too. Because Tyrex is in the lead 3 to 2. And every, every percent here he gets is only just helping him out here. This is where Jaleto took most of his stops in the first game with Tyrex at the ledge. Oh, the Ultimate just barely doesn't kill. Oh my god. He's just trying, he's just fishing for the air, trying to get it, but the ult smash out his shield, covering on the whip on the bear is going to take it. Yeah, falling there, very, very safe for Lucina, but as soon as Tyrant scopes for a rising there, that's Jolita smelling the blood in the water. Fully covered that spot dodge with the grab there, set up Luma perfectly for the ult smash follow-up as well, Luma's still there. Oh, doesn't get the follow-up though. That attack instead opts to chase Jolita to the ledge instead of taking care of Luma. Yeah, I think Tyrant is just like, I want to get rid of this stop now instead of trying to get rid of Luma, but that might be, that might be his downfall, actually, because the times that he's been winning control is when Luma's not been there. Yeah, there we see him finally get rid of Luma. Uh, perhaps stopped a bit short of Gelato in the first place and was tempting him at the ledge, but nevertheless got the job done. Yeah, trying to go for the jump on the two from the down here off the ledge is going to make sure that Gelato gets off the ledge for two there. He's trying to fish for these four smashes, but he wants this kill. Oh, there I didn't kill again. Tyrus is just so close on getting these kills, but that up there is going to steal the stock. Finally goes in for the grab. Gillette has been very good at getting grabs from the Angel platform this entire set. Oh, that up smash was so close. If Tyrus had chosen roll as his option to get out of the corner, oh, that would have been a hard read. with the Dancing Blade from Tyrant. Toledo's getting too impatient. He's pitching too hard. You can see it again. How many up smashes and forward smashes have we seen this last few interactions? And he's been getting punished every time for it. He's getting too impatient. Sour spot dare from Tyrant. That would have been the game. Oh, he could have tried to cover the spot. He read it too, but it didn't come out in time. One more time, running at running F. Still gets the Nair. More damage. Grab still out of the way. All right, oh, you see now he's getting rid of the Luma while he's still, while Rosalina's off. He knows he needs his timing. No punish on the on the, the skill break there. Oh, he's trying to get up an up smash. He's gonna steal this time. But Delito at 127, he took too long. He took too long, and now he's just in so much trouble right now. 140 percent on his last stop here. Certainly not over, but very, very difficult. At this point, that landing there should do it and does. Yep, that lasting there hitbox is so strong at the ledge. Two one forty. I'm surprised if a lot of characters are gonna live that. Yeah, so an early scare in Tyrank's bracket, but comes back with victories in games two and three to take down Gelato, advancing. And I know Tyrank's, you know, 